Hey, hey, everybody, it's Desiree, and this is another morning minute. Actually, this is a morning minute for superheroes because this morning I have a superhero t shirt to make. Not necessarily um, for my granddaughter because she's not really into superheroes. She's more into her Barbies. So I have a really quick question for all of you. Just a really quick question. If you were to be able to become one of these superheroes, which superhero would you become? Which superhero would you become? You know, there's that meme on Facebook about um, becoming, you know, hey, what was that mean? It was a little kid in the Batman outfit. Uh, if you can be a Batman, always be Batman. So, there is that. Always be Batman. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this transfer right out of here this morning. It's about 6 o'clock here in California. Uh, tell me one which superhero you would be, and two, the other thing I want to know from you <clears throat> is uh, not only what superhero would you be, what time is it where you're at? What time is it where you're at? This is me doing a live before the dull day job. So I'm just going to cut my transfer. These are silk screen transfers. They're reusable if you've never seen them before. Feel free to share out there onto uh, whatever places you want to share. And I'm gonna cut this. this reminds me of Shazam. Every time I see that, I'm like, Shazam! They even made a movie about Shazam. So I'm getting this cut up. Helps if I show you guys the cutting. Not that I think anybody needs to know how to cut. So we might choose something from there. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fuzz this and then put this on the t shirt. This is a child size t shirt because, you know. Children want to be Batman, right? So I'm going to go over here, take, peel that away off the backing, fuzz it, and then I'm going to put it on here. And because this is Batman, Batman has to have black ink. Because, you know, not many white Batmans. That man doesn't come in a white outfit. And where did I put that black ink? Whoops! I should have looked before. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't have black. I have Midnight Sky. We're gonna use Midnight Sky. Because we're not using white. White. Batman does not wear a white costume. He wears a black costume, but I don't have black, so we're gonna use the Okay, so I'm going to very quickly take some of this ink up right here on my squeegee, press it through the silk screen, just like this. Oops, managed to get it there. I'll show you guys how to prevent that. Um, usually one of the good ways to prevent that kind of thing from happening is if you use painter's tape, which I did not in this instance, or a smaller squeegee, but I wasn't thinking about doing that. Should have, but it's okay. Okay, I got that taken care of. 
the next tart part is to take this off. Ta da! Batman! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so, hey, Aaron, I see you. 8 a.m. and Superman. Oh, wow. Superman. Well, we got the colors for Superman here. So I'm going to go drop this in the sink in some water so that I can clean it off. It's very important when you're using the inks to clean off your transfers because you don't want it to dry in there. It will, if you let it dry in your silk screen, because this is a, a mesh. It's not a stencil. It's a mesh. That's how we get things like these uh, eye holes right here to stay where they're at. It is a mesh, and if we let the ink dry in there, the ink is going to clog that, and I don't want it clogged. So I'll be right back. And I took just a moment to wash my hands off because I got stuff on it. <laughs> All right, so just going down here at the very bottom where I got that smudge, I'm gonna take one of these disinfectant wipes. Just gonna take a real quick swipe at it. Um, sometimes it'll smear. The other option that you have is, of course, um, doing something else. Uh, some people have found that when they get a smudge, they have some working time. And what they'll do is they'll go in and use uh, hairspray, like the old Aquanet hairspray, and that will help. Well, it's not coming off very well, but I'm going to go forward. And the next thing to do is just to dry this thing off. So this is gonna get loud while I dry that ink, because I don't want to wait 24 hours. So, we're drying it. And I'm using my hot, my uh, heat gun, which is super hot. They actually use these heat guns to help get paint off. So, if you have, especially like latex paint, if you have that, this is going to help. Okay, I'm going to call that good. And the next process, I'm going to pull it off the sticky ink mat that I have underneath it. I like to use these because they keep the t-shirt flat. These keep the t-shirt very, very flat. So, the other thing, be right back. I need to shut off the water over here. I almost forgot I needed this other piece because I have been cleaning all weekend and you know what? I haven't put everything away. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off. Well, not enough time to get that, but this is small, so I'm going to fold it. I needed to uh, clean this one off. And now, 
Here's something that I like to do with these t-shirts. When I'm heat setting them, I'll put, I'm using Teflon baking sheets, but you don't have to use that. You can use uh, parchment paper to do this part. So putting it like that, because it keeps, see all these wrinkles here in the t-shirt? When you use one of these, which is an ink mat, it, it has an adhesive that allows the t-shirt to stay flat. I like to use it on t-shirts. Um, when I'm doing cotton, I don't always do that. Don't always do that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put my Teflon baking sheet over the top. And of course, I turned on my uh, heat press and it doesn't. It turned off. There we go. We're going to give it a second here to heat up. So. As this is the morning of February 10th, 2020, um, and we're waiting for that to heat up, let me know what your plans are today. Besides, you know, the usual get up and brush your teeth and all of that. I drink coffee first, so I wait until after I'm done with my coffee, and then I brush my teeth. Sometimes I forget. Ew. Okay. It's ready, time to heat set. Batman. You know, if you don't know what to be, you can always be Batman. And as we're letting that heat set, I wanna remind everybody that I have a VIP group on the Facebooks. I do have a VIP group. You can come over to Easy Crafters there. If you would like more information about becoming a Chocotour designer, hashtag join. Um, we are open for business if you are interested in starting your own craft business. And lots of Chocotour designers only use the products to make products to sell because you can do that and you can sell it anywhere. And of course, Hashtag transfer if you want the project supplies and instructions. Let's peel this off. Heated it up pretty good. I suspect that the t-shirt itself, this uh, darkness will fade away, I'm hoping. I did not know that t-shirt would do that under heat. But you can put it on a better t-shirt. This is a Gildran, so I'm not sure um, this may change, maybe, maybe not. I may have to heat the whole thing up. Anyways, Batman is ready for business. Yes. That's funny because these guild rounds are usually pretty good about this stuff. Um, anyways, I do have some other projects. We have project kits for this family transfer. Doesn't include the frame. For the chill transfer, I do have project kits for those. And I think that's all of them. So, but that's only available for a few more weeks or actually uh, another week. And then I'm gonna be switching that but we have Batman, except for the t-shirt took up weird stuff, which was uh, odd for me. It's odd to me that it did that, but that is not the transfer. That's the t-shirt. Okay, so that is it for Morning Minute. Remember, you can always hop on. We also have the Club Couture that's $19.99 a month, gets you an 8x10 transfer that you can use 10 to 12 times. 
All right, everybody, have a great one. I'm off to go get on to the dull day job.